Hello, my name is Kyle, and welcome to the channel. This is the Conservative Take, where we take culture, news, and politics and filter it to you the right way. If this is your first time here. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and that bell icon to miss any future content. If you want to support this channel, what we're trying to do, then click that join button below to find out how to do just that. Now, I want to just do this video because I want to talk about Georgia. What happened yesterday is a huge roller coaster of emotions and just tactics from both sides. Of what's going on? And it's really, really amazing that the Democrats are trying to do everything they can do to stop the process of the recounts, of oversight, of transparency, of whatever it is. They're trying to get in the way of that. We're going to cover that in this particular video. But if you had not checked out the complete crack in summary, the Georgia edition, check that out. It's right here behind us on our website here, the conservative But you may also want to check out some other videos we have here on basically how the ballots can be flipping on all the key states because of just the illegitimacy of the particular process that's going on, the process violations. So the key point of this video, I'm sure why you came here, was to talk about Georgia and what the roller coaster ride was. And the roller coaster ride from Georgia was essentially that yesterday the a judge actually issued a blocking of the freeze of all Dominion's voting machines in the state of Georgia. So in the morning of Sunday, Judge Timothy C. Batten Sr. issued an order on Sunday morning to freeze all Dominion voting machines in the state of Georgia. He said here that defendants are ordered to maintain the statute quo and are temporarily enjoined from wiping or resetting any voting machines in the state of Georgia until further order of the court. So what's happening is they were trying to stop the machines, the information that hosts the data for the voting that happened on November 3rd to keep that from being reset, to keep it from being deleted. Now, the question is, why would why would the Board of Elections in Georgia want to delete data off of voting machines? Hmm, that's <laughs> maybe it's because they don't want you to see what's on there. Huh? You think so? That was a big news story. and We were very excited about that. But then later on, that order got reversed. So let's come in here a little further here. It says here that later in the day, I'm just reading a tweet here by Lynn Wood, who's the attorney for Georgia for the Trump campaign. He's acting independently, very much the way Sidney Powell is working independently, but he's focused on Georgia. And so he tweeted that same thing out, uh, talking about stop the steal now, Bryant Kemp, who's the governor of Georgia. But then here we go. Later that afternoon, Judge Timothy Batten reversed the claim letter today based on the defendant's claim that Georgia counties control the Dominion voting machines. So now he's backing up on his stay, which says you can't tamper with or reset those machines or delete the data in the morning of Sunday. But later in the afternoon, he comes back and reverses it because the defendants claim that the Georgia counties control the voting machines. So Lynn Wood talks by here. He says, hey, wait, what? Judge reverse order based on defendants claim that Georgia counties control voting machines. So what he's saying is that it's not owned by the counties, but it's owned by the secretary of state and the administrators of the state. He also goes on to say, why are Georgia officials determined to wipe these machines and, and reset them? Doesn't know. So that was where we were as of 10 o'clock last night. I pretty much let it go thinking that this was another block that the swamp has done to this whole process of fairness and transparency in our elections. But then later on, I woke up this morning and saw this, that late last night at 10, 10 p.m. on Sunday night, Judge Timothy Batten again issued a temporary restraining order for 10 days against the destruction of evidence. And so this was also tweeted out by Lynn Wood. He says uh, the same thing. And he's saying now that this is great news, which I agree. So let's just recap what's happening here. So in the morning of yesterday, which was the 29th of November, a judge who said basically you can't wipe the data off of these voting machines. In the afternoon, he reversed that decision by saying that there was a claim that the defendants had. They pushed back saying that the county owned the machines, when in fact, based on what Lynn Wood was saying, it's the Secretary of State, the administrators, and the state in general that, that, that owns the machines, not the counties. And then the judge came back a little bit later that afternoon, well, actually that evening, and said, we're going to stop this from happening for the next 10 days, and we're going to check out after that. So for 10 days now, they can't delete the machines. And now we have people who are actually in Georgia now overseeing the Dominion servers and the machines. And there's actually people there on site 24 hours a day is scheduled to make sure this doesn't be violated, this particular 10 day stay. And so here we have here, this guy here says, uh, Ron, who's at CodeMonkeyZ on Twitter says, if you are on site 
helping with Dominion Watch, please do a Wi-Fi scan and take screenshots of all Wi-Fi hotspots in the area and then post it with the Dominion Watch hashtag thanks. So Patriots are in place now to make sure this happens. And so we'll see what happens, but this is where we are now. And it's just really interesting what's going on. Okay, so with that, what do you think about this? What do you think about the potential of people staying on site for 10 days to watch the servers, make sure they're not being corrupted? Click below in the comments. I would be curious to know what you think. If you like what we do with this channel, we take culture, TV, movies, news, and politics and filter it to you the right way, then please click the like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Also, if you want to join us on this channel and support us, then please click that join button to find out how to do just that. And with that, check out some videos that I have right now.